Hi guys, this is Celia and welcome back to my channel. Simply Celia, I changed my name. I removed the Pinay Stitcher because I thought before the end of 2021 that I don't want to do any more floss tube video. So I put all my um, videos on private. So, but then um, last week I changed my mind. I still wanted to do it. Like I still want to do cross stitching. The reason why I, I thought I don't want to do floss tube video because I wasn't really stitching anymore. Um, I was painting and painting and not stitching. So, but then after the new year, I pulled this project and I thought I still love it. You know, I still love doing it. So that's why I'm here. And um, I decided to work on this um, book first before um, I, record or I record anything. So uh, let me show you this book first. I remember I showed you um, kind of a log book last year, but that didn't actually work out. I wasn't really like, you know, very consistent in recording it and it's not really working for me. This time um, I've thought about this and I hope this is going to work. I hope that I'll be able to like be consistent on recording things that I wanted to record because I still want, I still really want to 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 have kind of a logbook or a planner or not really a planner because this is not to plan this is just to record what I'm what I did um for the day and all the starts and finish and this is just not dedicated to my cross stitching projects this is also for my other craft other hobbies like painting and maybe sewing later on or any other crafts so i designed it for that but it's mostly focused on cross stitching really but this is just an example i hope that i can uh, make it this work and add things if i need to because you know i like doing the planner as well so this is my 2002 um planner and i it really helps me for now um so let me show you um, before I show this with you, let me show you this log book that I have. This is just a regular notebook that I got from Walmart, and it's a huge one. I don't know the the measurement, um, how many inches. So I don't know, like eight, eight and a half by um, eleven. Eight and a half by eleven. So it's a huge one. This is an old notebook that I have. I just use an old notebook. And so I decided my log book, I need to put like 2022 here. And um, let me say again, this is for my cross stitching and other hobbies that I want to record every time I have a start finished or I'm doing on it, like stitching or something like that. I don't know why I added blank pages there. I don't know, I have no idea. Now, if you can see the tabs. These are actually from my old, from my planner. A big planner that I don't want to use anymore because it's so big. I, it won't work. So I this it was like a 2021, 2022 planner. And so I don't want to use the 2022. I want to separate like one notebook for all 2022 instead of half of it. So <clears throat> I don't need half of the 2022. But I don't want to throw it away. So what I did is just I cut it out from just a regular planner. And cut out the calendar, the, plan, the monthly um planner monthly side or calendar monthly calendar i cut it out and paste it on this notebook page so i just add stickers that's those are my extra stickers i i still again i don't want to throw it away there's no rhyme or reason but i, I want to get rid as much as i can the stickers that i don't really need i don't want to keep so instead of throwing it away i put random stickers here so I know that I'm not going to write anything here. So I just put stickers. It's ugly. There's no rhyme or reason for my stickers. So I put, um, I started on June 6. I don't know what I did. I never done anything before this anyways. But I record um, the things that I did. The finish started, finished, whatever. And stitch ornaments like this morning. Kind of. It's just like here. It's just in... A record of what I did. If I'm go, if I'm stitching a project, I'll just stitch. And I thought I'd use a a, a legend or something, a guide, so I didn't have to write on stitched or anything. It's just an idea. So if I I I put NS, I it means new start F finished, so I don't have to write um 
finished the word finished all the time it's just f and then the name of the project kind of i i'm this is just a work in progress and see how it will work but yeah like this i have finished stairway to have and then stitch it's just you know this word and will be a repetition so instead of repeating it i'll just use this kind of a symbol so the stitch is x and then p painting ffo fully finished kind of and then you know what you know what i mean with that so february so this is what i did i just got out my old planner and then it is only up to june and there's no july so i created my own thing from excel i created that one so uh, um if you if you'd like this idea and want a copy of this um calendar i can send you the file if you want just email me um this one is printed on a regular uh, white paper printing paper and i cut it out on the side because you know i just want to like easy when i i just use the regular glue regular glue to glue it on the paper and just cut it on the side to just um it actually fits on this notebook but you know sometimes you just have to make sure that no paper just you know it fits well so i just decided to like here I decided to cut here and there so it's easier for me to paste. I'm trying to explain. I hope you understand what I was trying to um, tell you. But yeah, I created this um, once because I ran out of those old planner that I have. So it's just basically I followed the design and like, yeah, this one has no lines. This is blank. So I will record what, whatever I'm doing every day when it comes to my hobbies my projects paintings teaching and other crafts so this will give me an idea if there are days that i didn't do anything or months that i didn't do anything or just for whatever purpose it is you know if i write down stuff it's kind of a log, a log book or a diary and then here i put the 2022 starts i just use my whatever stickers i have that's why i ran out of two so i used gold 22 and i so far this year my, this is my first start i started in on january 7th and yeah just a very simple just put the heading project name designer and other information and then if i have a new start i will put the new start here and then other information kind of so it's a very simple one just create that this is just to help me monitor um all my starts and then for the other information i put dimension kit uh stitched on 18 count fiddler's cloth ada and um yeah, I don't know what else to put, but it's up to you. If you want this idea, you can put whatever you want. And then I actually leave um, set aside two pages for this. I don't think I will have more starts this year. So two pages is enough. And then here I put the whips cross stitch. I wanted to do the inventory of my whips. I have four bins that contains all my whips and i want to list them down here um i know we can do it on on the computer but for now it's just a hassle to like put your inventory in a computer and then you have this i want them in one notebook and it's easier for me to really actually like just write down instead of typing so yeah um i've always attempted to do the computer stuff but it's still not i won't be i it just wasn't really working like I start and then not finished it so it's easier to just write this down and create a list like this so for this I provided one or three one two three pages I just want to show you guys that um, the headings that I use for my whips um, inventory uh, it says project name designer theme start date and finish date theme meaning you know like religion fantasy flower animals whatever you can you can use category but for some reason i just used the theme um yeah i that's that's the heading for my whips inventory cross stitch inventory and then here finishes so this is actually my finished um 
for this year my first one it's actually a, a, my own acrylic painting is following a tutorial so i just put, printed this on a regular paper so it's easier for me to glue this is just for reference you know and um here yeah, i put the information stairway to heaven we show the painter tutorial start and finish stage and why that should be nine not 19 what nine 2020 and then i put some other information that i wanted to you know uh remember or know or like in the end of the year maybe because uh, you will forget right you won't remember everything so i'd like to it's acrylic and canvas void and the size of the canvas um the colors that we use to create this picture so i only use the four colors and yeah um the picture is so large for this i really wanted to at least um have two projects but you know what i have several papers left so whatever i wanted to at least put um two pictures in one page so we will see for now that's my finished and i also would like to point out because i thought like you know i still have a few pages left and i don't want to throw away this notebook it's just in case so what I'm planning to do is when, after the end of 2022, I will remove these pages and punch holes and move them to um, a binder. That's why I tried, I wanted to have a room here for the punch holes um, so that I can do the same thing um, for year 2023 and, and um, this 2022 will be moved to um a binder for archiving kind of so this is my log book for 2022 and i really i really hope i'll be um updating this regularly so let me know if you want to have if you have access to exo and want this if not then i'll figure out um if i can do the same thing using um google Docs, Google Sheets, call it Sheets, right? Um, Google, you don't have to download the program. Excel is not free anymore. So um, in Google, you can just, you know, make things like this. If you don't know how to make and you want to really have something like this, I can maybe make one for you guys. Just let me know. But yeah, I just want to share this with you. And yeah, this is a good way to really record your projects in stuff like that without if you're not into using digital digital is good too but it won't work for me i'm not a, i'm not a, i'm i'm i you know i know how to work in a digital way it's just that i still like to really write things down but here's my start for this year and i could not find my santa claus i don't know where i put it if you remember the last video that I did before it was the Santa Claus um, from Dimensions kit and I stitched it on <clears throat> sorry about that and I stitched it on on plastic can plastic whatever canvas you call it but I don't want to do the plastic anymore so I decided to stitch this they suggested to stitch in not plastic but no I don't want to do that it's not fun so this is what I have done this is just like for two a few minutes maybe an hour or an hour and a half of work i'm not really going to trace how much time i spend on any projects that's just for me it's just not important for me <laughs> um you know how many it is just too much for me to trace so i don't know maybe roughly like one and a half hour work on this one so this is what i have done it's so cute it is so cute and so i'm liking it i prefer it over plastic really but yeah it's also a good use of a scrap fabric i have lots of scrap fabric so that is my new start and also my current the current project that i'm working right now when it comes to cost stitching i also worked on my last supper but i don't have it with me i only put a few stitches in that so there's no need for me to show and again, that's it. Oh, let me show you first the notebook that I found at Walmart. This is also a nice notebook 
to um, do the lug for your stitching I've already created this one so I don't want to like um, you know waste my time spending on this notebook and just decided I found this last night so it's too late and I still have to figure out what I'm gonna use for this but this is really perfect if you want to log your you don't want this and you just want a notebook to log for your projects this is from Walmart it says notes and this is the brand so if you can find this online that's the code it, they have three tabs with pockets and perforated sheets. It's really cool. It's really cool. I've looked. Um, this is the only one they have there. It's just by chance that I've looked this, and I really like this one. You see that? See that check mark? <clears throat> you can um list your supplies that you needed here, and then you can just check. What I mean that circle thing you can just check it if you've already um. Um, but that supplies or you list all the designs that you want the, the patterns that you want to buy here and they give you several so you can divide this like these are the patterns that you want to buy these are the list of meal health beads that you need so you can or what well, um list also your webs here um these are supposed to be to do list but you can do this for your cross stitch and then here these are dotted um, lines, so you can create your own calendar here if you want to do the calendar thing and do your own, you know, make your own. This is an easy way to do calendars or, I don't know, what, design your own cross stitch because this is a graph. So dotted lines are really um, um, nice for creativity, put pictures, write something, create something or track. They use this for tracking. So, yeah. And then, <clears throat> just a lot. Oh, I'm thirsty. And then, these are the ruled <clears throat> ones. Ruled pages. So, it's a really cool. And the tabs, the tabs, and every tab, they have pockets there. This is actually $5.96, so it's not that expensive, and you can do whatever you want in, with it. No, nothing like, you know, you can just be creative with this. And another tab for another row of pages. And, yeah, it's cool. I really like this. If I haven't, think, I haven't thought about creating this one, um, this is actually the notebook that I wanted to use to log my cross-stitching in crafting projects because I can put all the whips here and then I can use the dotted lines for my calendar weekly calendar maybe one week next week kind of because I want to have a bigger space to write down so it's a weekly calendar for me and then the rest are for the finishes you know put pictures of my finishes here and it really works so just an idea and yeah happy to share and um thank you so much for watching at the end of this video i want to show you my paintings in a like slideshow of my paintings if you want to see them um, please stay continue watching and if not then thank you for watching and hope to see you again in my next video happy 2022 guys and have a nice week bye